guys, this is Jeremy from Biscuit Junction Hot Rods. Um, back with another video on, I had a question about what kind of seat I was running. It's a Dodge Caravan that a lot of people run. Um, so, I actually was going to try to run these MG buckets. They're pretty cool, but they were a little bit short. And a non-channel car. A channel car would be pretty sweet, though. But, uh, second row, Caravan, bench seat. Um, I mean, this is, every, everybody's done it, so... It's not nothing new, but I've noticed a lot of people, they want it to fold. The second row seat doesn't fold, but the third row does. So I saw a lot of people making their own uh, hinges. If you unbolt the third row hinges, they'll bolt right on the second row. So then it'll, it'll hinge and it'll even lock down. So that's an easy way to get a hinge and seat. But on mine, uh, I actually have a, a tunnel in the car since the front Z'd. So I needed to clear that. So on my car, I actually took the cover off, iron bolted it, cut the section out of the middle, and I welded in a piece of like quarter inch flat bar. I just uh, curved in the vise and uh, welded it in place. So actually, I'll put it back in the car and I'll show you how it fits. I also cut down the mounts for now. Um, I have like rollers to roll into it. I just cut them down to get my height in the car correct. Um, I'm probably gonna build different mounts that just look a little bit better. But um, if you wanna use these, um, I mean, you could probably weld feet on them and. And bolt them in your car and uh i mean this was a 20 dollar seat so good budget option and it fits the car pretty nice but i'll uh i'll put it back in the car real quick and show you what it looks like inside the car here's the view inside the car without the cushion on it but i close this i mean there's plenty of room on both sides uh, space space down If you recover a seat though, it should fit pretty good. I cut it down where it's about level with this uh, back, back tray. But it fits, fits very nice. But like I said, I'm about to build feet. I'm probably gonna build new brackets totally and bolt them in. But uh, I need to find a way to, haven't got to that yet. But if you look at my, that's all I did to clear the thing. And you would think it'd be kind of rough in the middle, but really, I mean, there's still some spring. It ain't, it ain't real bad. I don't know if I'd want to sit in the middle. I mean, most of these cars, we only put two people in anyway. But uh, I didn't want that look where, you know, I tried a Camaro rear bench seat and, uh, you know, had two bottoms and then they clear the hump on a Camaro, but I just didn't like the look. So I went with what everyone else did. Uh, let me throw the cushion back on and I'll show you how it sits in the car. Here's the seat with the uh, cover back on it. It's just set up there with the, the foam. But like I said, you still have room between the door. And uh, I mean, of course you're gonna recover it, but maybe if you're needing, uh, maybe if you're needing an option of something just to run for now, I mean, this is a good budget option so you can get it recovered. I mean, they're in junkyards everywhere. But if I sit inside the car, like I said, I'm, I'm 6'3". <laughs> I'm looking right out the center. This is head height for me. I'm looking right out the center of the windshield. This will have plenty of leg room once I get pedals and stuff in. And hopefully a column room and all that. But it's a, uh, for a taller person, it's a, it's a good height. And it's, it's really comfortable. So, uh, I mean, you can buy an expensive seat. And I mean, if you have the, if you have the money to, I don't, I don't, uh, I, w I would too, you know. But for $20, you can recover it in whatever you want. Uh, it's a good option. But I see a lot of people saying they do it, and uh, I've seen a lot of them in cars, but you never really see very many videos of people, what all they had to do to make them fit. Uh, really, there ain't, ain't anything. You probably have to make you know your bottom feet, and then, uh, like me, I had a clearance to fit over the trans tunnel, but other than that, it's, I mean, it's, it's pretty much perfect width. 
and uh, I think once you stuff foam in the right places, it'll look really good in the car. But I just wanted to show that video. I had a message of someone asking me what uh, what seat I was running. Um, I'm not sure on the years. This one was like a late 90s, early 2000s minivan. Uh, but if you just go to if you go to a junkyard, I mean, yeah, I saw a million of them there. So I, I imagine if you go to pick apart, there aren't a there aren't a bunch of people out there trying to get a a minivan seat besides you know hot rodders that <laughs> use a cheap seat. But this is uh this is gonna be it. Uh, if you have any more questions, just send me a message. Uh, or if you have any uh any tips or anything, I'm I'm willing to hear that too or any ideas. So uh, again, this is Jeremy from uh, Biscuit Junction Hot Rods. Uh, catch you on the next video.